In the last video, we discussed about uh, the compilation process and uh, the role of uh, linker script. So now we will start uh, coding uh, the linker script. So let's get started. We will create a new folder and name it where stm32. Well, it can be any name. We will create a new document. STM thirty two F four four six R E dot L D. L D file extension is for designating it that it's a linker script. Okay. Now now let's edit it. I use uh, VS Code as my code editor. You may be able to use any other code editor that you like. I just uh, find VS Code uh, a little more comfortable. Okay. So we have opened up VS Code. Let's open the file. Okay. So now in uh, Linker script, we have three major commands. The first one is entry. This uh, specifies the f a address of a function or a function that is used as an entry point. So this is the first function that is called. The next is we specify the memory map uh, using the command memory. And then we have sections. We will cover this in more detail as we go along. This section is kind of reserves memory for different code sections. So when we are writing code in C, it will create a, a section like BSS, text, data, and we will go to those details as we start uh, uh, to code a C program. So let's uh, uh, start writing our linker script. The first we are specifying our entry point function. This function can be named anything as long as we have uh, the implementation of the function uh, somewhere within our uh, within our code. So the usual naming convention has been reset handler because this is the function that gets called anytime the processor gets reset, and uh, uh, this is what is defined in the assembly file that we will code next. Then we will specify the memory regions or the memory map. Okay. So let's take a look at uh, our data sheet again to find out uh, where all, what are the addresses. So I'm in the data sheet now. So in the data sheet, we will have uh, a memory map here. So memory map, if we look closer, we will see that the flash starts at uh, 0x, 08, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's the starting address of the flash. And we will see the SRAM starts at 0x, uh, 2000000. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And there are two flashes, SRAMs, sorry, uh, of a total one of 112 KB, another of 16 KB. And both of them, if we add them up, the total is 128 KB. Um, so let's uh, define this on our linker script. So there, flash, and then we specify whether it is a read and executable. And 
then on the origin address 0 x 0 8 0 0 0 0 0 0 and you specify a length of uh, you will have to find the length from the data sheet as well okay so let's look at the description here okay so we are uh, coding with stm32 f446re so this is 512 uh, kb of run uh, flash Well, then we can specify RAM 0 uh, and we are this is a write and executable we can have our we can write on it on this memory area the origin address is uh, 0 x 2 0 and length of one hundred twelve kilobytes. So this is the minimum uh, necessary. We can uh, you know, we can define other areas as well. So you know, like flash uh, SRAM uh, two, and then the sum of SRAM. We can do all kinds of things. But to keep it simple, uh, let's just define only these uh, two memory areas for now.